and I had a little bit of a panic because I was looking at this instruction sheet and it said about the turkey, like, let it sit for an hour. Oh, <gasps> Mira! Now you're up there, now what are you gonna do? Well, this is definitely my most involved <laughs> cheese board. Hey guys, it is the Monday of the week of Thanksgiving and I'm actually off work all week so I thought I would just make a little vlog of everything we're doing for our second pandemic Thanksgiving. So I actually probably could have started this over the weekend but I was suffering from a very bad headache Saturday night and most of the day Sunday so the weekend was kind of a wash um, but we do have some things planned today and the next couple days and then obviously Thanksgiving so hopefully there will be something to show you. We're actually going out in a little bit to the super fancy grocery place to get stuff to make a charcuterie tray for I don't know, Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving Eve. So I thought I would just browse through um, my Instagram story highlights. If you ever want to see this, um, they're all in a highlight on my Instagram of um, primarily charcuterie boards that I've put together before, sometimes other meals too. Um, but just to get like an idea of um, what we want to pick up as far as cheeses that we've liked in the past, um, or other little accoutrement to put on the board, like olives we'll want to get, maybe artichokes, uh, artichoke hearts. Uh, on this one, we got this um, prosciutto, uh, like Iberico ham, that was like $130 a pound. Um, I think we had a gift card, and my husband was like, what will 20 bucks get us? And so we got like three slices of ham, but it was, I mean, it was good. I don't know if it was $130 a pound good, but it was good ham. Tuesday morning and I'm just here at my desk because I'm getting a couple things done there is still something that I have to do kind of daily for work check in once or twice a day and do some piece of work um, I'm paying bills that have been sitting around for a while and um, then I'm gonna go do laundry and vacuum and basically just like try to get the house in order today because tomorrow we are doing something that could potentially make me not feel like getting things done so I want to get as much done today as possible.
some water to stay hydrated because we are getting our vaccine booster shots today and um, I think it work it goes better <laughs> if you are well hydrated that day. I was really hoping to be able to make some avocado toast today, but I got these avocados last week and they're still like rock hard. So I think I actually have more coming today, so I'm sure they won't be ripe yet either. I don't know. I'm like squeezing it and wishfully thinking, but I think I will be disappointed if I cut into either of these. Go for the Oscar here. All right, where are we going? We're going to get boosted. Yeah. <laughs> All right, how was your vaccine booster experience? It was excellent, very professional. Everyone there was super nice. Very friendly. I was impressed, because you'd think dealing with all the people all day long, mm -hmm. they'd be sick of it, but they were all really, really nice. Very mm -hmm. friendly, very professional. You feeling good? Yes. All right, it's been 40 minutes. Let's, <laughs> let's see what the night holds. Mm. And we also stopped at Five Below afterwards, and I got some bags of candy because they were five for five dollars but i'm most interested in the tropical llamas all right i have been hydrating all afternoon with my water it's been almost three hours and i think both of us just our arms are a little sore but otherwise feeling okay for now and we are on our way out to pick up our thanksgiving dinner this year we ordered it from founding farmers which is a very nice restaurant that we like if you saw my uh pandemic thanksgiving vlog from last year we ordered it from de bruno brothers which is a very fancy gourmet kind of market actually we were there yesterday uh or monday um so you saw us there this year too <laughs> but um this year we thought we would try a different restaurant so i think it's maybe going to be a little less food because this is supposed to feed four and last year was supposed to feed six but we split last year with another part of my family so um hopefully it's not too much food because we don't have a ton of refrigerator space right now oh are you being so good and scratching the post we gotta fix that rope for you huh oh you're done performing now that i turned on the camera i see how it is Oh, <gasps> Mira! Is this your first time on that counter? Yes, on the day before Thanksgiving. Mira! The day before your eight month birthday. Did you climb on that counter? Me. <laughs> Now you're up there, now what are you going to do? <laughs> no, no, I see the big cats up here before I don't know. Oh, Mimi, Mira. is that where you're supposed to go? Oh, no. Oh, you better... <laughs> <laughs> Mira, you have to do it in front of us? <laughs> On camera? The princess needs an audience. No, I demand an audience. Anyway, um... Is there room? room? No. Is there some room? There's yes. some room. <laughs> well, we have a free. <laughs> So here's everything I took out that will become part of our cheese board for dinner tonight. And then this all came in my imperfect foods order today, but actually um, these are going to stay out on the counter, so I just have to put the asparagus in the fridge. So I'm gonna let the cheeses sit out and come to room temperature, but I just wanted, while they're still cold and a little harder, um, I wanted to cut off the top of this uh, Harbinson cheese, and actually it says on the back, slice off the top, and go in with a spoon, which is kind of how we're planning on serving this one. So, I've actually never done a wheel of soft cheese like this before, but I see it all the time on cheese boards and just on the many uh, cheese Instagram accounts that I follow. So I know it's a, 
a recommended way to eat it. And this one's really cool because it has this spruce band on the outside. And actually, as soon as I pulled the plastic off, you could start to smell the spruce. It smells like, you know, pine needles. Um, but it looks like there's maybe a little bit of a lip on this side of it. So I'm just going to slice off this side of the band, I guess. It's straight out of the fridge and it's already a little gooey. What I wanted to do is cut a little shape into this and then sit it back on top. I've seen that done before. I don't have any like cute cookie cutters, but I was thinking maybe I could just cut like a little um, star shape out with a knife. So, oh gosh. If I totally ruin this, then I'm just gonna leave the top off. But I think I could do a cute. stuck to the cutting board oh no oh I tore it oh gosh let's see how this goes Eww. all right I think we can make it work huh oh that'll be cute in a little cheese tray all right, so it's time to start assembling my cheese board, but there's a couple things I need to get ready first. One is I'm going to toast this bread, and then I'm going to rub the toasted pieces with a tomato and a piece of garlic that's cut open. I just saw that on a video about uh, making cheese boards, and it's like a easy way to make like a flavored um, bread <laughs> without using like a bunch of crackers and stuff. Now I was hoping to use one of my smaller wooden boards, but uh, I think I have to break out this big guy. This was actually um, a tray that like a, a sandwich order came on, like a, a catering order. So we have Pleasant Ridge Reserve, which was uh, like a super award-winning cheese. Um, Brave Under Goat Gouda. This um, is from uh, La Muse, which is a, a Gouda place that we're actually, at least my husband is like friends with the owner, uh, a Dutch Gouda company. And this is Seven Sisters. This is another one that I had tried uh, like over the summer and really liked. And then this one is Testoon Al Barolo, which we had already opened because uh, my husband gave half of it to a friend of his, but this is, um, it's made with like wine and like coated with wine grapes on the outside. So this one is a sloppy mess. So maybe I should, I don't know if I should put this down first and work around it. I was hoping to do some of those cute arrangements like where you take uh, triangle shaped slices and arrange them in like a zipper formation. So I'm gonna try to do something like that. Okay, so for the zipper thing, you're supposed to take them in triangles and like alternate the direction of every other slice. So I don't know if this will exactly work because it was sort of like a wedge. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, that, that kind of zips. Okay, I don't know if this one, this is the Seven Sisters, I don't know if this will zipper as well because it wasn't exactly a triangle. Uh, Alright, okay, okay, they're cute. Alright, here's the last one, the Gouda, and again, not sure how this is going to go because it's pretty crumbly. I might not be able to do the zipper with this. A lot of these are just breaking as I lift them. Uh, these parts are sort of a mess. We'll do like a, a sloppy zipper for those. Now I had wanted to try the thing where you make a rose out of salami by forming it over a glass. So let's see how this goes. I've never done this before. And I think it would probably work better if I were using either a smaller glass or larger pieces of meat but uh, I'll try it with this one and if this isn't working I'll get like a, a shot glass. So let's 
see. Oh gosh, this doesn't feel like it's holding together at all. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a that's a real loose rose. Okay, I'm gonna try this again using this little bit smaller glass, and hopefully that holds together a little better. Alright, wish me better luck with this one. Oh, alright. What do we think about that? I don't know if I'm gonna do other ones, but I guess it, it turned out kind of cute. Okay, so I did a rose with um, the spicier ham and I redid the one with the pepper salami. I think the trick is um, don't shingle the slices over each other. Uh, just do them in a single layer and then do a layer on top of that and a layer on top of that. Uh, now I'm going to place our prosciutto ham. I'm not sure how I want to do this. There's some fun ways to, you know, do them in little rosettes or little things but um it's just it's so you know sticking to itself um i'm not sure if i'll be able to get all the slices separated nicely so you know i might kind of like wrap them up into little rosette kind of circles Well, this is definitely my most involved <laughs> cheese board that I've ever made. So um, the cheeses I already told you about, the meats we have um, like a spicy chorizo and this is a peppered salami and prosciutto over here. And then uh, we have all kinds of other accompaniments. So obviously red grapes throughout. These are truffle salted Marcona almonds. We have feta stuffed olives. Uh, some roasted red peppers, these are some cornichons, uh, baby artichoke hearts, and um, then the bread, I said I, um, I toasted these and just rubbed on uh, like a tomato sliced in half and a piece of garlic sliced in half, and I, it gives it like a little flavor, I mean, it's and my little, you know, cut out star on the, on the uh, harvest and cheese, so uh, when it's time to eat, we'll just pull this lid off uh but yeah i'm pretty pleased with how this came out this is a pretty good thanksgiving eve spread oh yeah i was gonna maybe cut up this pear too but i don't think we need it <laughs> well, it's the afternoon of thanksgiving day i'm just checking in i slept in really late <laughs> this morning into this afternoon uh late last night i started feeling kind of like yucky and achy which is about how i got with my previous um, vaccine dose, so I wasn't really surprised. Um, and I mean, like, I feel fine. Like if somebody said, hey, you have to get up and go do this thing, I would have, but since I had the free time, I just hung around in bed for a few extra hours. I had cats snuggling with me, it was very nice. And uh, now I'm up and about, so I'm gonna have a snack and uh, my husband is seeing his family for a little bit and then when he gets home, we're gonna have our uh, Thanksgiving meal. I will say I kinda had these grand ideas of like, oh, we'll eat early and go out for a walk before the sun's down or like go for a walk during the day and then have dinner. And maybe that was over ambitious. <laughs> So I had some cheese and crackers. Um, after last night's cheese board, we're gonna be eating cheese and crackers for weeks. Um, I'm feeling a little better having eaten something and also I'm brewing up some tea. Um, I found this sample in my tea drawer of um, Hello Sunshine Herbal Tea. It says it's for invigoration and renewal. So I figured I could use that right now to feel a little better. All right, I'm getting everything ready to go to heat up for dinner. I have to say the stuff from Finding Farmers is a little more effort than I was expecting because they come with like 
little sauces that you're supposed to reheat together. This one has like a herb butter to go with the green beans. And then I had a little bit of a panic because I was looking at this instruction sheet and it said about the turkey, like, let it sit for an hour, cook it for two or three hours. And I was like, oh my gosh. But I think that must be if you are getting um, an actual raw turkey or whole turkey because we just got this turkey breast and there's actually instructions right on it that just says to warm it up for 35 to 45 minutes. It's already, you know, cooked and seasoned. So that's more what I was expecting. So I'm gonna get started uh, preparing this food. After Thanksgiving aka Black Friday I don't plan to well definitely I'm not going out and doing any shopping um, I kind of looked at some sales online but like there's nothing I really need or want I've actually done almost all of my physical Christmas shopping already so I don't think I need any more gifts or anything so uh, just yet another day to take it easy at home this is gonna be the last day of the vlog because I'm cutting it real close I want to get this edited and posted for tomorrow um, I did just want to mention my hair uh, I'm pleasantly surprised with how nicely the waves came out today because um, I've worn it straight probably three or four days out of the last week and the days in between that I did try to wear it wavy it just didn't work it got like stringy or weird or the waves didn't form now it's early and so the waves are still nice and they do kind of usually loosen up more over the course of the day but um, I'm very pleased with how they turned out today so I know I keep promising a wavy hair thing but honestly I'm still figuring it all out myself I do something a little different every time usually I change a couple of variables which is not very scientific because then I don't know <laughs> necessarily um, what was you know good or bad about what I did the last time so it really is like just just a mystery every time how it's gonna turn out um, but someday I'll make a video at least explaining what I do and you know how mysteriously it may or may not work each time also I think one of these avocados is finally feeling a little soft so I'm gonna finally make my avocado toast I just realized I should have shown you this. Um, I have been using beeswax wraps as much as possible lately, um, but I usually find them in sets and usually it's like one small piece and then like a medium and a large piece. And I usually just need small pieces of wrap. So I found this roll, it's Super Bee Roll Wax Wrap, and it's actually just a large roll of beeswax wrap. Um, let's see how many feet it is. It's 33 by 90 centimeters. So it, the whole roll is 90 centimeters long and you just cut it yourself to whatever length you need. So I've been using it to make like little small pieces like this that I can wrap my other half of my avocado in, for example. Um, so I didn't need a whole big giant piece. I just used this little small one. And then, you know, obviously it's reusable. So um, this will be my avocado sized one from now on. And um, if you haven't used beeswax wrap before, it's real easy to use. And you just kind of like, if you warm it with your hands, it sort of seals onto itself. Um, so I, again, try to use it as much as possible when I have the sizes that work for me so now that I have this customizable one I'll be able to use it even more often and uh, the only thing is obviously you can't wash it with hot water because the wax will just 
come off of it but um it's otherwise you, you know you can just wipe it clean i wouldn't put it on like raw meat or anything but for produce or just covering over the top of a container or something like that it's perfect and it's reusable and more environmentally friendly <laughs> give you a little update on my little blind baby since he just came to sit with me so um, I think in a previous vlog I did mention you know he had kind of a big health scare a couple months ago he is totally blind um, he's been on eye drops uh, we went down from three times a day to twice a day which is a little more bearable for both of us and he's on all kinds of special medication for his blood pressure and special food for his kidneys and he's on thyroid medication which he had already been on uh, since earlier this year so he's actually doing great um, he's been back to the vet a couple times now for checkups and they're like so pleased with how well he's doing his progress his eye like I don't know if you can really tell it was his his right eye so this side that my hand is on um it was all like bloody and I don't, like uh I don't know I don't want to get into it but, but it was it was bad inside his eye and it's basically all cleared up now so he is blind and he's gonna be blind but he gets around fine he's you know gets up on all the furniture gets to all his favorite sleeping places he can jump up on the bed with us um he does bump into stuff <laughs> and you know and the vet keeps saying like just don't rearrange your furniture um because he really does you know he uses all of his senses and his whiskers and you know he can hear things and he really gets around really well so he's doing very well so I thought I would show you this since it just arrived. I actually had ordered a bunch of Christmas presents on Etsy and they all arrived already except for the one thing that I bought for myself which is this charcuterie tray kind of board tray thing um, that I got from Wood Creations SB. I think um, they're from South Bend, Indiana so I think that must be the SB. So this is their medium sized board. You can kind of see with my hand for scale. Um, I was hoping this would be here in time for our Thanksgiving Eve charcuterie board, but actually like I can see now this would have nearly been big enough for what I ended up putting together this week. Um, but I think for a, like a normal sized portion, um, this would be great. And it's just a simple wooden tray. Um, they have them in a few different sizes. And um, they had a bunch of other nice, like, customizable um, wood pieces as well. So I had been looking for something that had, like, more of a little lip or rim around it that I could kind of prop stuff inside a tray. So I'm very excited to try this out. Probably not for a while because I think we're kind of meat and cheesed out at the moment. All right, I need to wrap up this vlog, so I thought I'd do it here by my flickering, glowing candles. These are really hard to capture on camera, so we'll see how this turns out. Um, I got these off Amazon earlier this year, and I just put them in our front windows for the winter time. And they're really cool because uh, they have a little remote with all the options for how to control them. But once you set them up, um, I set them on a timer to just be on for six hours, so they come on at like 4.15 and go off around 10.15. And once they're set once, they come on at the same time every day. So it's nice, you don't have to turn them all off and on all the time, which I remember doing with the little uh, electric candles in our windows at home growing up. But I hope you enjoyed following me around for a week. If you did, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Hope you have a nice holiday season, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.